hello everybody i hope i find you well in this era where we are having you know um wars going on around the world we are also having celebrations because we mustn't look on the bedside only we are also having celebrations here and there hallelujah our god is good all the time today i have something different a, a little bit different not today but this time because today i've already posted um my usual postings uh, but for now i have something different but it's coming out of the holy bible as well it's points that i have gathered about uh, one of the books that we are doing now the book of matthew uh, i'm going to talk about six things about the author of the book of matthew point number one the book of matthew is believed to have been written by matthew one of the 12 apostles of jesus Point number two, Matthew is believed to have written this book in, in Hebrew, later translated into Greek for, li for larger audience. Hallelujah. Then point three, Apostle Matthew, as he was uh, known in his later years, was a tax collector before he started uh, his discipleship mission. If we go to Matthew 9 verse 9, we find this evidence. As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the tax collector's booth. Follow me and be my disciple, Jesus said to him. So point number three is that Matthew was a tax collector. Hallelujah. Um, then point number four, the book of Matthew does not shy away from tracing clearly the family tree of our Lord Jesus Christ jesus christ hallelujah his family tree which illustrates jesus identity as israel's long awaited messiah this we see straight even from the first chapter where he clearly lines up with um with you know showing that he has so much knowledge about jesus you know family and uh, not only family but um family going back generations and generations hallelujah so now point number five is that apostle paul was a jew hence he is also ready to give a jewish perspective of jesus ministry in the book of matthew hallelujah and uh, we go to point number six apostle matthew uses a lot of prophecy from the old testament as evidence for jesus ministry as well he and many others viewed the old testament with a christ-centered mindset so this um tells us that not only was he interested in his family tree here on earth but he was also interested in the roots of our lord jesus christ from a uh, from the word of god through the mouth of prophets prophets in the old testament hallelujah these are six points about uh, the author of the book of matthew which we are reading hallelujah um it's quite interesting that uh, matthew has the he has a um, is is not only connected to jesus spiritually but he is also connected to jesus uh by human roots human um 
human 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 tribe or human roots uh so he is one of those authors who gives both sides um the spiritual standing of our lord jesus christ and also uh his human origins you know and um his lineage he is well versed in that hallelujah so when we read the book of matthew we know that we are reading from someone who is well acquainted about christ both uh, human and spiritual hallelujah in jesus mighty name be you blessed as we continue with the book of matthew uh, i'm gonna try and um bring some more points about the books that i'm reading that we are all reading that we are meditating on uh so that we have a background of what these books are hallelujah i use the word believe um, believed um matthew is believed because uh our god never stops uh, talking our god sometimes just comes and says well uh can can you can this one be uh expressed as this so i give room for god to speak hallelujah especially from the things i am gathering from the internet in jesus mighty name be you blessed